Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsfory.com. Today's topic of our discussion is classification of fungi into five phyla. At the end of this video, you will be able to understand the definition of fungus, which are the five phyla of fungus. We will be using an example to explain the characteristics of each phyla in detail within 5 to 10 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin with the definition. How can we define fungi? It's an extremely diverse group of organisms. Fungus are microscopic like yeast or macroscopic like agaricus. They are eukaryotic with true nucleus, haploid, non-chlorophyllated without chlorophyll, spore-bearing, filamentous heterotrophic thallophytes which reproduce asexually and sexually. In the case of mushrooms, what we see above is a fruiting body, which is called as a basidiocarp. On the substratum, there is a massive mat of hyphae. Individual filaments are called as hyphae and group of hyphae forms the mycelium. This classification into five phyla is based on mode of reproduction and also molecular data, that is DNA sequencing data of different group of this fungus and also 18S rRNA data which is the most common molecular marker used for classification. On the basis of this criterion, true fungus is divided into five phyla. First one is chytridiomycota, second one is zygomycota, third one is glomeromycota, then ascomycota and basidiomycota. Previously we included fungus under plants. Now we know that this fungus is more closer to animals in phylogeny than plants. The most primitive one is chytridiomycota. They are the chytrids. They are the only group with flagellated cells in their life cycle. Then this basidiomycota and ascomycota forms the dicaria. They are the most advanced group of fungus with septate well-developed mycelium. They are having a prominent dicaryotic stage which means presence of two nucleus of different strains without fusion in a common protoplasm for a long time in their life cycle. Molecular studies suggest that this glomeromycota is a sister group to this dicaria. Now moving into the characteristics of each phyla. True fungus is divided into five phyla. The first one is chytridiomycota. They are the most primitive, mostly aquatic, mostly unicellular, Let's take an example. This is Allomyces, which is a multicellular chytrid. As you can see, the hyphae is aseptate and xenocytic, that is with, without cross wall. Asexual reproduction by means of flagellated zoospores, zoospores with a single flagellum. Sexual reproduction is rare. If present, the gametes are isogametes with a single flagella. Let us summarize the characteristics. Chytridiomycetes, they are having aseptate xenocytic hyphae, asexual reproduction by means of zoospores. Sexual reproduction is rare if present by means of flagellated isogametes. Examples include Allomyces syncytrium, etc. Second phyla is Zygomycota. Rhizopus, the common bread mold, belongs to this group. Here, the hyphae is aseptate and xenocytic, as you can see. Asexual reproduction by means of non-motile spores, which is called as sporangiospores. Sexual reproduction by means of gametangial copulation, two hyphae of opposite strains comes in contact. And finally, forming a structure which is called as zygospore, which is a characteristic feature of this group. Highly resistant zygospore is formed during sexual reproduction. Flagellated cells are absent. The characteristics are, they are having an aseptate xenocytic hyphae, asexual reproduction by means of non-motile sporangiospores, flagellated cells are absent, sexual reproduction by means of gametangial fusion, and finally forming a thick resistant spore, which is called a zygospore. Example is rhizopus. The third phyla is glomeromycota. They are arbuscular mycorrhiza. Mycorrhiza are fungus that lives in association with roots of higher plants. They are having a mutually beneficial symbiotic association. 
where fungus helps the plants to absorb nutrients more efficiently whereas plants provide the fungus with food and shelter. Here also the fungus is xenocytic and aseptate, asexual reproduction by means of a special type of spores which is called as blastospores that is formed at the tip of the hyphae, sexual reproduction is absent. So glomeromycota, they are arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi with xenocytic hyphae, asexual reproduction by means of blastospores, sexual reproduction is absent, example is geosiphon pyriformis. And the fourth phyla is ascomycota. They are often called a sac fungus. Penicillium belongs to this group. From here onwards, as you can see, the hyphae is well developed septate hyphae. There is anthridium and ascogonium as sex organs. Sexual spores are called as ascospores, which is formed inside a sac like structure called ascus. That is why this fungus is called a sac fungus. Often eight ascospores are formed inside this ascus and it forms different types of fruiting bodies. This type of fruiting body, flask shaped fruiting body is called as perithesium with an opening called osteole. Then there is apothesium which is cup shaped. Then there is clistothesium that is closed fruiting body. Asexual reproduction by means of exogenously produced conidia that are formed in chains. So the characteristics of ascomycota are they are septate well developed hyphae, asexual reproduction by means of non motile conidia, flagellated cells are absent, sexual reproduction by means of sexual spores called ascospores, often eight in number. There are fruiting bodies, different types. Cup shaped one is called as apothesium, then flask shaped perithesium, and closed clistothesium. Examples include yeast, that is saccharomyces, then penicillium. Pesaisa, etc. And the final phyla that is Basidiomycota, the most advanced and the most abundant group of fungus. Our mushroom belongs to this group. So here also the hyphae is well developed and septate. Then there is a special type of septum which is called a Tolipor septum. We have given a one minute video on Tolipor septum. You can refer that for more. Then sexual reproduction by means of basidiospores that is formed on a club shaped structure which is called as basidium that's why this fungus is called as club fungus then fruiting body is well developed with a stalk and a head which is called as basidiocarp asexual reproduction by means of conidia similar to that of ascomycota Basidiomycetes, they are having well-developed septate hyphae with tolipor septum, asexual reproduction by means of non-motile conidia, sexual reproduction by means of basidiospores that is formed on basidia. Examples include mushroom that is agaricus, vaccinia, which is a parasite that causes red rust of wheat. Let me summarize the five phyla of true fungus. The first one is chytridiomycota, the most primitive with flagellated cells in their life cycle. The second one is zygomycota. They are also aseptate and xenocytic without flagellated cells in their life cycle. The third one is glomeromycota, which is arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi where sexual reproduction is absent. Fourth and the fifth phyla that is ascomycota and basidiomycota, they are the most advanced with well-developed septate mycelium with well-developed fruiting body also. They forms the dicaria or fungal groups with prominent dicaryotic stage where two nucleus of different strains remain in a common protoplasm for a long time in their life cycle. And basidiomycota are the most advanced group of fungus. Hope you are familiar with the characteristics of different phyla of fungus. Thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and like this video. You are with biologyexamsforay.com.